Well, howdy folks. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to Whistle Wednesdays. And today we're gonna take a look at another iconic Acme whistle. This is the Model 58 Titanic Mates whistle. Now, before we get to that, if you're not familiar with this series, make sure you check out that playlist link in the description. Throughout this series, I've looked at some various iconic whistles, I've made some whistles, I've done a bunch of different things, and it's just been kind of a fun series. But today, we're gonna take a look at this baby. So, what is a Titanic mate's whistle? Well, if you think back to 1912 when the Titanic sailed, there were mates, which basically they were in charge of decks and different tasks within the ship. Well, they would all be issued a mate's whistle and they could blow that when they needed assistance or when they needed attention from other mates or what have you. It needed to be a whistle with a very iconic sound, so they chose the Model 58. Now, the Model 58's been used for a lot more than that. Um, a lot of gym teachers and other, uh, you know, types of uh, folks have used it over the ages. So it comes with a certificate of authenticity here. Check that out, showing it is indeed a Titanic mate's whistle. Now, this is what it looks like, and you've seen these types of whistles. Again, gym teachers, all kinds of folks use these. But this one, since it is a remake of the Titanic's mate's whistle, you can probably see on the side there, it actually says Titanic. And that's what the originals look like as well. They were just a standard uh, Acme Model 58 with that engraving on the side. But this is what it looks like. There's a little ball in there. You can probably hear it kind of shaking back and forth. You can see the Acme logo there and everything. So here it is. Next thing to do is to blow it, see what it sounds like. So again, if you haven't checked out the series, please check out that playlist link in the description. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you guys soon.